Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel, where I share with you all the juicy gossip, the hottest trends, and the most amazing secrets of the stars. I'm your host, and today we're going to talk about. In today's thrilling episode, we dive into the glamorous world of polo, where the stakes are high, the mallets swing, and the drama unfolds faster than a galloping steed. Meet our stars, Meghan and Harry, the royal renegades who traded their crowns for polo helmets. They've got the pedigree, the scandal, and a Netflix crew in tow. But there's just one problem, in all audiences. Why you ask? Because the USBA, United States Polo Association, has given them the cold shoulder. Apparently, even the polo ponies are side-eyeing this royal duo. But fear not! Our dynamic duo won't be deterred. They've staged a Miami match like no other. Picture this. Palm trees swaying, mojitos flowing, and the Netflix cameras capturing every juicy moment. Will Megan's hat stay put during a fierce gallop? Will Harry's polo whites remain pristine after a tumble in the turf? And most importantly, will they win the hearts of the invisible crowd? So grab your champagne flutes, adjust your fascinators, and join us for the most exclusive polo event of the century. Because when it comes to drama, scandals, and a touch of royalty, the clowns of polo deliver. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And remember, even if the USB rejects you, there's always a circus tent waiting. Prince Harry, alongside his wife Meghan, continues to live in the limelight despite stepping away from royal responsibilities. The couple attracted attention from the press and affluent onlookers during a charity polo event on Friday, which supported Centibale, a charity Harry established in 2006 to aid children and youth in Lesotho in Botswana. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, joined by their friend, Argentine polo star Nacho Figueres, were followed by a Netflix film crew, documenting for a forthcoming miniseries on polo. Although Harry refrained from media interaction, the Garris expressed hope that the series would elevate polo's profile, similar to the effect of Formula One, Drive to Survive, on car racing. Harry and Meghan are set to be executive producers of the show. The Garris who has been collaborating with Harry on Centibale since 2007, humorously bantered with Harry about the outcome of the match. He praised Harry's polo skills, noting his competitive nature and athleticism. During the matches at the Grand Champions Polo Club, Harry's team, Royal Salute Centibale, triumphed over Figueres' team with a score of 3-1, with Harry scoring the first goal from midfield. Despite a missed opportunity for another goal, Harry's team won both games, earning him a trophy and a congratulatory kiss from Meghan. The event, witnessed by approximately 300 spectators, is part of a weekend fundraiser expected to generate $1 million for Centibale. Since 2006, celebrity polo matches have raised around $15 million for the charity. In its 2022 fiscal year, Centibale reported raising about $6 million, with half originating from the U.S. Harry, who has been distanced from his family, including his brother Prince William, detailed their strained relationship in his 2023 memoir, Spare. He resigned from royal duties in 2020 and relocated to Los Angeles with Meghan, citing overwhelming media intrusion and prejudice. Meghan, known for her role in Toots, married Harry in a globally televised royal wedding in 2018. The couple has two children, Archie and Lilibet. Nacho Figueres commends Prince Harry for his efforts to popularize Polo through a new Netflix series, expressing his eagerness to back him up. Figueres has long aimed to make Polo more accessible and he sees Prince Harry's involvement in the Netflix project as a continuation of the dedication he shows towards his charity, Centibale. The Garris shared that his support for Prince Harry grows when he sees the Prince's commitment to Centibale, 
and he anticipates that Harry will bring the same energy to the Netflix series. This was discussed before a charity polo match in Florida on April 12. Prince Harry, age 39, and Figueres, age 47, played on opposite teams at the Grand Champions Polo Club in a game supporting Centibale, a charity Harry helped start in 2006 with Prince Ciso of Lesotho to aid youths in Southern Africa. As an ambassador for Centibale, Figueres regularly joins Harry in the Centibale ISPS Hand a Polo Cup to raise funds. During the recent event, filming took place for the Netflix Polo series, a project that Figueres believes fulfills a long-held aspiration to broaden the sport's appeal. He plays internationally, often accompanied by his wife, Delphina Blackyear, and their children. Figueres speaks of his and Prince Harry's long-standing discussions about polo and praises the production team and Netflix's vast reach. He is thrilled to participate and use it as a significant chance for polo. Figueres also teased his enthusiasm for Prince Harry's Netflix venture by posting a photo on Instagram Stories on April 14, showing a conversation with Harry before playing polo, captioned with excitement for the Netflix polo series. Thank you so much for watching, my lovely fans. You are the best. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notifications. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.